So we need to expand the given expression to write it in the power series form. Um, to do so, we will uh, look at the general form of the power series, which is a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared plus a3x cubed and so on. Let's plug x equals 0. We get that 1 over fourth root of 1 plus 0 equals a0 plus 0 because the rest of the terms here will be 0 since x is 0. So we get that a0 equals 1. Well, now on differentiating both sides of this initial equation, so both sides of this, we will get that negative 1 over 4 times 1 plus x to the power of 5 over 4 equals a1 plus 2a2x plus 3a3x squared and so on. Again, we plug x equals 0 and we get that negative 1 over 4 times 1 to the power of 5 over 4 equals sorry, equals a1 plus 0 because the last of the terms will be 0 since we plug x equals 0 and we get that a1 equals negative 1 over 4. Now again we differentiating uh, differentiate the equation on the both sides. We get that 5 over 16 times 1 plus x to the power of 9 over 4 equals to a2 plus 6a3x and so on. Again we plug x equals 0 and we get that 5 over 16 times 1 to the power of 9 over 4 equals 2a2. So we get that a2 equals 5 over 32. Wait, let me highlight all a's that we have found. So a1, a2, and here we have a0. Okay, now we keep on doing the same process and uh, keep the terms together and finally we get that 1 over, over the fourth root of 1 plus x equals 1 plus the sum of negative 1 to the power of n times 1 times 5 times 9 times 13 and so on until 4n minus 3. This thing is divided by 4 to the power of n times n factorial. And this whole thing is multiplied by x to the power of n. n goes from 1 